Hi, this is Michael Sheehan, Technology Evangelist for GoGrid, and today I'm going to quickly show you how easy it is to create and deploy web and application and database servers within GoGrid. Um, I'm also going to show you the creation of load balancer and cloud storage. So what we have in front of us right now is the GoGrid portal. This is all web-based, which you can access from any browser. Um, and as you can see, I've already deployed two servers within my environment, so I'm going to just quickly deploy a couple more. So to create a new server, it's very simple and straightforward. Click on the Add icon. Choose what you would like to add. So in this case, I'm going to add a web and application server. Once you click on the Add button, uh, there is a dialog box that asks you to fill out information about your server. So I'm going to type in the name of my new server. I'm calling it my second server. It's always important to enter in a description, especially as you start adding lots and lots of servers. This helps to uh, keep track of um, the things that you have deployed very easily. Uh, in the public IP section, you can select an IP address based on the um, ones that you are pre-allocated with each GoGrid account. You're given uh, static contiguous IP addresses. You can see on the left here is, are some of the IP addresses that are available. Just simply start typing in the uh, number of the IP addresses. IP addresses and you will get a uh, drop down box that has the ones that are available for use. So I simply selected one. You choose the amount of RAM you want allocated to your server. In this case I'm going to choose one gigabyte of RAM. You select the operating system. For this demo I'm going to choose a Windows 2008 32-bit server. And then for my image, I'm choosing uh, IIS 7.0, FastCGI, MS, uh, Microsoft SQL 2008 Express. So uh, once you're satisfied with your server configuration, simply click Save, and GoGrid immediately starts deploying it within the infrastructure. You can see by the uh, yellow icon here that uh, the server is in the creation state. This will change to green once the server is uh, created and live. Once it is green, you can, uh, based on the operating system, you can either remote desktop into it if it's a Windows server or you can SSH to it if it's a Linux server. So again, on the mouse overs here, you can uh, quickly see the uh, operating system that you chose, the uh, amount of RAM, as well as the uh, image template that's being used and the public IP address. So I'll do the same thing here, uh, creating a database server. This time, clicking Add, I choose Database Server. I get the same type of dialog box. Type in the name of your server my second database server, any description, just as with a, uh, an application server you start typing in the public IP address and choose one of the available IP addresses that are there, the amount of RAM that you want to allocate to the server, and the operating system. In this case I'm going to choose a Red Hat operating system and then the uh, image that I'm going to choose will have uh, MySQL 5.0. Once you're satisfied simply click Save and the server is uh, being instantiated. So uh, as you can see right now we have four servers that are deployed two web and application servers and two database servers uh, and again the the mouse overs give you all the details on that and uh, in a second we will work on deploying a load balancer okay now I'm going to quickly show you how easy it is to create a load balancer to load balance traffic for your GoGrid environment. 
<clears throat> so first, the best thing to do is to take note of the IP addresses of the servers that you want to load balance. So in this case, uh, these two servers here in the front end are the ones that I'm going to load balance. Um, then you simply cl click on the Add button, select Load Balancer. And in the dialog box that pops up, you fill in the information about the load balancer. So put in a name, a description. Then in the virtual IP, this is going to be the public IP of your load balancer. Again, you choose it from any of the available IPs that you see on the uh, left-hand side widget. I'm going to start by uh, typing in the number 2, and these are the IP addresses currently available for me. So I'm going to choose uh, this one here. Then you enter in the port that you want the, uh, the traffic listening to. So um, in this case, it's going to be port 80 for HTTP traffic. You can configure uh, the type of load balancing that you want. Round Robin or Least Connect. Round Robin will uh, distribute the traffic evenly uh, to the various servers that you have configured. Least Connect will monitor the traffic uh, and send new traffic to um, one of the servers that has the least amount of traffic going to it. You can also choose persistence, either SSL sticky or the source uh, IP address. I'm going to just leave that as none. Then uh, you type in the IP address of the servers that you want the load balancer pointing to. And this is where uh, you, you take your notes from the previous section and uh, configure those IP addresses. So in this particular case, I know that I have one application server that is the dot .162. I enter in port 80. Then I can click the plus button and add in my other application server which was uh, the 170 address here. Type in port 80 and then simply click save and within a minute or so you will have a load balancer up and running and uh, balancing traffic to your web and application servers. That's all that there is to it. So next we're going to take a look at creating cloud storage. Okay, so now we're going to add cloud storage to our GoGrid environment. The, the great thing about cloud storage is that it gives you dynamically scalable storage as a uh, mount point that you can attach to any of the servers within your GoGrid environment. It's extremely easy to use, uh, very redundant, and um, it can scale indefinitely. So by, uh, to deploy Cloud Storage, you simply click on Add, choose Cloud Storage, read the informational screen. The first 10 gigabytes are free. And once you deploy it, you can only deploy one uh, cloud storage device to your GoGrid environment, but we're sure that there'll be ample space there for you. Simply click Save. Acknowledge the, the terms that you will be charged 15 cents per gigabyte per month uh, once you go over your 10 gigabyte uh, allotment. Click Yes, Add It. And cloud storage is successfully uh, queued up for deployment within your infrastructure. As you can see, just like with any of the other objects within GoGrid, you have a little um, color indicator to show the, the current state of it. Right now it's in orange as it's being deployed. You'll also have a, uh, a storage use allocation bar that will show you how much uh, storage you're currently using. So that is pretty much setting up your, your GoGrid uh, environment. It's true infrastructure in the cloud. And here we have uh, everything from load balancers to web application servers, database servers, and storage.